Hi everyone, today I have a fun unboxing. Um, it is the Wizards Vault um, Special Edition, so I think it's quarterly. Um, or the Wizarding Trunk Special Edition uh, Luna Box. So that's why I have my Luna uh, scarf, my Spectre Specs for Luna. Um, I really love the character from of Luna from the Harry Potter series, and hopefully this uh, box has a lot of uh, magical stuff uh, of it. I'm really hoping that there's a quibbler or something that she reads in here. That's like the one thing I just want. <laughs> um, but everything else is so good. Um, I'm kind of excited to see what they have. So... This is the first time I get this box, so I'm kind of excited to see if I if I like it or not. So here's this. Um, here's a, her the list of lost things that she has uh, things that she has lost. Um, but on the other side is the kind of the spoiler sheet, so I'm not gonna look at that. And oh, lots of cute stuff. It looks like I'm excited. All right. First thing I see is a pin. Oh, so I usually don't like pins, but this is actually a really nice one of Luna. I really like that. It has her Patronus, her and her lion's head. So I like that. A little thing. Uh, a little wooden ornament. Oh, you can uh, put ribbon and then tie it someplace. Um, of her sneakers. Because poor Luna, she says that some. They, her, she keeps losing her sneakers that they keep going away. Or the other students take them. Um, oh! I just saw something in there that I'm super excited about. I'm going to take that next, but first is this pin banner and this pin banner um has the words friends all over it so this is in the book um luna's kind of she's she's in her own little world she's like her, she's a ravenclaw that's why i like her she's a ravenclaw but um she she has few friends but the friends that she has she's very loyal and she just really cherishes them so she painted the wall in her room with the pictures of her friends, and then she wrote friends, 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 friends all over her wall. So that kind of goes to this. So that's a nice pin board. I like that it's minimalist. So the thing that I saw that I'm really excited about is a Luna wand. <laughs> and this is not the one that she has in um the late the last movies um that's kind of like a tulip um this is her first one and i love this it has oh it has like acorns leaves <gasps> just this made the box for me so i'm super super excited I have a new one to add to my collection, and it's Luna. That's the one I wanted. I've actually been, like, keeping an eye out on, like, Etsy and, or not Etsy, but, like, uh, eBay and stuff to see if uh, her first one comes out. But I never saw them, but that's really nice. Here are some earrings. Some dirigible plum earrings, because uh, Luna is known for wearing dirigible plum earrings. So, I don't have holes in my ears, but maybe when I do, I'll wear that. Oh, I like this. I think I saw something else. And here is a candle. And it says, exceptionally ordinary. Um, pineapple mango scented. So that's the name of this box, actually. Exceptionally ordinary. And that is, um, a uh, phrase I believe Luna uses to describe herself. And I like that. And it's very, very sweet and very tropical. So I really like that. So, candle. And... <laughs> so, in the 
the books, Luna, she's a Ravenclaw, but whenever Slytherin goes up against Gryffindor in the books, she always wears a Gryffindor Lions hat to support the team in Quidditch. And in, uh, I think Lipjoy had a hat like this, but it's kind of nice. I feel very Luna-esque. It's a little cute little lion. He's like, what? what's going on? <laughs> so I like that. I don't know if I'm going to wear it uh, places, but it's kind of fun to have a Luna hat. Um, because this is one of the things that she's known for. She'll go into the stands and she's like cheering for all for for Gryffindor. Um, if they're not playing Ravenclaw, uh, in this hat. But in the books, the lion can roar, so that's kind of fun. I am really liking this box. I have to say, I have seen boxes from Wizarding Trunk, and I've always was like, okay, I I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Um, but I'm, 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 I'm impressed. Here. There's two boxes. And pink. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. It's a little, it's a little ornament type of thing, and it says, "Keep up off the dirigible plums." So, this is from her house where she lives in the books, and she makes earrings out of this. But when Harry, Ron, and Hermione go to, I think, like, question her dad about some of the stuff they've seen, um, they see the sign saying, keep off the dirigible plums. So that goes to that. That's very cute. I'm glad I'm getting all the references. <laughs> right there. Um... I see a couple more stuff. I see a couple more stuff. I see a shirt. So not every wizarding box, uh, wizarding trunk has a shirt, but this one does. And this is great. It's pretty soft. And it says, you're just the same as I am. So that is one of Luna's catchphrases where um, they say she's crazy and she's like, you're just the same as I am. Um, and here is a Thestral. So this little key. Let me see if I can open it. Oh, here we go. So here's the key of a Thestral. And Luna, one of the things that makes Luna special is that she can see these creatures in the books. And these, it's kind of sad because the only people who can see these are people who have witnessed someone dying, I believe. So there's only very, there's a couple of people in the books who can see them and when you when they say that they can see them it's really sad because like you've known you know that they were that they've lost somebody um so harry harry can see him luna can see him and i think i forget if neville does or not um but yeah so i really like the shirt really like the key how they kind of tie in um the wizarding box has been doing these keys and I, from the keys that I've seen, I actually like this one best because um, it's pretty detailed. So I'm really liking this. Um, two more things. 
and I think that like completes like really really the box so anyways there's one more box box and this one is purple so pink and purple those are like Luna's colors And it's the hold of a Snorkax. So a crumpled, crumpled horn Snorkax. So in the books, I think um, Luna is trying to find the horn of a crumpled horn snor Snorkax. And I don't think she ever finds one. But here's here's a, a horn of a crumpled Snorkax. Yeah. Um, you could also use this as a basilisk <laughs> tooth. Because it looks like a basilisk tooth, and if you have like the Tom Riddle diary, you could like put it with it. So, uh, if, if you, you have Harry Potter shelves, that's a very, very good one. So, put that there for a second. In the last two days, so Wizarding Trunk is known for their, um, for their potions. And I was hoping for like a small, really cute potion. And it's a small, very cute potion. Uh, the sticker's a little crooked, but <gasps> if you can see that, it swirls. It's so pretty. And it is gnome saliva. So if you have those pesky gnomes, and it says, It has magical properties. So that will be really nice. I almost have enough potions that I've made and got for a potion shelf. So I might have to do this because I really, really, really want to go to this. And the last thing, I was hoping that they would do something like this. It's not the quibbler, but it's very close. It's Enchanter. So I think, um, so there might be some like stuff with like Pottermore or something like JK Rowling that they can't do replicas of the Quibbler. I think, um, but this is a, this is a really nice alternative to that. And this is like a magazine, like it has several pages. And in it, there are, like, advertisements. Like, I'm going to have, like, I'm literally going to have to, like, sit down and read this like a magazine. Um, pictures of stuff and, like, games to do. This is just how I imagined the Quibla would be. So, it's really, really nice. I really like it. Um, you can get money off your subscription today. So that, it doesn't say Quibbler, but this is a really, 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 really nice replica. Um, I am super impressed with this box. Um, yeah, so I, 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 I'm glad that I got it. Yeah, I'm super glad that I got it. Uh, the next box, if you saw on their Instagram, is going to be about the Weasley twins. Um... I think I skipped that box, but now I'm reconsidering it. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> anyway, let's go over some of the stuff. This is the list. Um, the Wizarding Trunk, exceptionally ordinary special trunk. Um, the Enchanter. Um, so the magazine was created for, for us as an alternative wizarding news source. So kind of not the quibbler. But we can pretend it's the quibbler. Um, we can pretend her uh, her uh, dad has several magazines, and that's the other one. This was created for us by Danny at Wizarding Workshop. Uh, so he does a lot of Harry Potter replicas. Uh, I see a lot of his videos on YouTube, and he does a lot of uh, craft stuff in like replicas. If you watch. Um, Lit Joy unboxings, he does some of their paper replicas for that, and he does really well. The Skeletal house key, Horse Key. 
Uh, this key was given to me by my father when I discovered that those four symbolized what I can see them. Now, every time I open my school trunk, I think of my mother. A uh, wizarding trunk exclusive. So that's kind of nice, kind of going back, uh, because Luna uh, lost her mother. So, and because of that, she can see the scrolls. Exceptionally ordinary pin. This pin was designed for us by J.P. Miskro, uh, which is an exclusive to this box. The magical plant. It's a little thing uh, you can keep on your shelf. Uh, please keep off the magical plant. Exclusive. And then the elusive or explosive horn. This is a horn of a very rare, rare creature, but be careful with it as we have recently been told it may actually explode. It's an exclusive, so... Uh, yeah, the crumpled tail or crumpled horn snork axe, I believe. Yeah, the horns explode. See, that's the thing. Uh, J.K. Rowling made Harry Potter such an immersive world that even creatures she made histories for and like what they do for these creatures. So not only did she do like the story of Harry Potter, but like everything around it. I just love how immersive it is. Um, friends pin banner. This banner is a great uh, place to keep all your pins that re represent your friends. This was designed by also JP uh, Miss Crow, uh, which is an exclusive. Hanging sneakers wood ornament. This wooden ornament will be perfect for your tree during the holidays, or just to hang around, uh, to hang up year round. It's an exclusive. Gnome saliva. Father says gnome saliva has magical properties. When I bottled this beautiful blue color, made me think of school, so I decided to decorate it for the bottle with my house colors, which. It's Ravenclaw, which is perfect, because I'm in Ravenclaw too. Um, this bottle was designed by J.P. Miscro, which is, this is an exclusive. Radish earrings. These may not be the exact earrings, but we thought everyone might enjoy a slightly more wearable version. Because who wants to wear real radishes? Oh, and the, so the only thing I don't have now, so she, she's, uh, Luna is known for the Spectre Specs, the glasses I had on, the radish earrings, and a necklace with a, um, cork as the charm. I might just need to make a necklace with a cork, and then I can do full Luna cosplay with her wand and everything. Um, Exceptionally Ordinary Candle. This candle smells of pineapple and mango and was created for us by Laurel Mountain Candles. Uh, designed by Twillings and Tatlings. <laughs> That's a great name. Lion Headdress. I did not expect a lion headdress in here. That was pretty awesome. Um, I've seen people like it, but yeah. Um, so uh, who, uh, who will you be supporting in today's match? Gryffindor! Except if it's Ravenclaw playing Gryffindor, then I'd go for Ravenclaw. Acorn and Radish Wand. This 13 and a half inch wand is made from ash with a core of unicorn hair and is decorated with leaves, radishes, and acorns. An exclusive! I love that wand! That's the only wand, like, seriously, that's like the one wand that I really wanted. Since I have Hermione's, I have Newt's Commanders, I have, uh, the ones I wanted, but yeah. And then, last one, skeletal, uh, skeletal horse shirt. This shirt was designed for us by Wizardy, Worksh Wizardy Workshop, an exclusive. So those are all the things. Um, I really, really enjoyed this box. Uh, it would've been nice to have like a picture of Luna, but it, like maybe like transposed on the back of this list. Or maybe the shoes on the back of this list or something like that. Because um, it's kind of plain, but that's like the only thing. Because everything else in here was really well made. And the things that I wanted. And I didn't even think of a Luna wand. Like, that, yeah, that was great. Um, so, I skipped the Weasley but next box, but now I'm really reconsidering it. I'm really reconsidering it. So let me know in the comments below if I should get email and try to get the Weasley box. Um, uh, so yeah, let me know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Luna box. And let me know which item you like the best. Uh, and thanks, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, bye.